Good morning, my name is Aaron Thomas and I'm from the Manchester Central campus and it's a pleasure to be with you this morning, afternoon or evening or whenever you're watching this. I hope you like my last supper picture, which is up there. Um, I love art and love um, placing it uh, around different parts of the house and you can see, you might be able to see the light there. That's supposed to be Jesus, the light just about a little bit higher just up there and the disciples around there and good old Judas is in the corner but anyway back to what we're here to talk about um, and I just want to first and foremost say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you before and I pray that you have a fantastic time with your family your loved ones your your friends and also I'm also mindful that this period of time and season can be a really difficult one for many that may have lost loved ones or may not be in a I want to celebrate mood um, so I just pray that you the, the peace of God and, and the comforting um, power of God would be with you in this season just to give you strength and hope for tomorrow um, but let's get into the word of God I'm going to read because um, I'm not like other rabbis that can just regurgitate the word of God off the top of their head. So I'm going to read from Psalms 25 verses 1 to 10. And it says, in you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. But shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, our Saviour. And my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. I want to highlight three things. Three things um, that really stood out to me in one of my favourite Psalms, Psalm 25, where David is talking about, I trust in you. I want to encourage you, it is not a futile exercise. It is not unwise to trust in the Lord. His word is powerful. His word is powerful. He also says in there, show me your ways. I want to encourage you, even in this time, at the back end of the year, going into another year of 2022, just have a bit of time to reflect and say, Lord, first and foremost, thank you for what, for keeping me in 2021. Many people didn't make it, but show me your ways, Lord, show me. I love David's posture. David's posture is one of, of, of student, not teacher. Because we all know that we, we're not meant to lean on our understanding, but sometimes in our humanity, we try and work it out based on what happened last time or how God did it last time or um, experience or gifts or talents. But I want to encourage you, like David, Show me your ways. Show me your ways. It says, guide me in your truth and teach me. Posture yourself. And, and T.D. Jakes always says this. He says, approach the word of God, empty, not full. Foolish, not wise. And I want to encourage you in this season, that as you, as you, as you actually just meditate on this psalm, and it says, guide me in your truth. Ask the Lord, what does guide me in your truth mean? Does that mean I have to change um, some choices, decisions? Do I need to um, reevaluate some things? For everyone, it's going to be different. But I pray the Holy Spirit would just guide you in his truth. And really make it plain and obvious and so blatantly obvious to you what you need to do in this season. It also says, all the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful. You can trust in the loving and faithfulness of God. And my encouragement to you is, take 
hope in not only what you've got coming forward in 2022, but have faith and believe that the God who David is speaking to will be with you. He will show you the way in which you should go. It says in the word of God, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. It also says many of the plans in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's plan that prevails. I love what, what David says in verse 9. He says, he guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Not our way, the Lord's way. And I pray that as you embark on the back end of this year, enjoying Christmas and hopefully not like me, eating too much, you will just take time out just to reflect on the year, give God thanks, but also be asking that inquisitive question, maybe sometimes that tough question, Lord, what do you want me to do? Teach me in the ways in which I should go. And my prayer is that as you go into 2022, you go in with momentum, expectation, faith, and strength. Not strength in your own humanity or in your own gift or talent, but strength in knowing that the Lord is with you, he's loving and faithful, and that he, as, as long as you posture yourself with humility, will teach you and show you the ways in which you should go. I love what it says. I've got to repeat it. He guides the humble in what is right. Stay humble. I love I love the people that I'm around because they they try and they, they make sure that I, I don't get above my station. I love that. And it's important to have people around you that will do that. Stay humble and really approach the word of God saying, I'm looking for the gems. And I'm praying that the testimonies that will come in 2022 will be miraculous signs and wonders. And also just ones that are just from being diligent and faithful in the small things as well. But as you embark, have full expectation that he's with you. Put your chest out, stand up tall and know that he's with you. And as you go forward in this day, Whenever you're watching this, I pray that you will be encouraged to know that he is with you and you are more than a conqueror. God bless you. And I will no doubt see you sometime in 2022 and look forward to hearing uh, what God is doing in and through your lives. Um, and please share your testimonies, please. Um, connect in with praise reports and, and different things that are happening within your life because your testimony is going to encourage someone else to keep persevering and as we as a as a family sharpen each other we'll see um, the kingdom of God come to earth in a powerful way that will bring great transformation to many people's lives holistically in Jesus name <laughs>